Buddy Macum on how to clone an SSD from a laptop using a Konis True Image 2017. After having downloaded the ISO image, I burned a booting CD on a 700 megabyte CD. And from the knowledge database by Akonis, how to clone laptop drive, the important point to remember is what they say here, that you need to put the new drive in the laptop first and connect the old drive via USB. So here's the situation. The new drive is a 240 gigabyte Kingston UV500 and the old SSD is a 500 gigabyte Samsung 850E VO SSD. The problem is that you go in this case from a bigger hard drive, uh, SSD to a half size SSD and what uh, Akonis does in the process once it's, it boots the CD using its uh, contained Linux system it reduces the size of the boot partition which is roughly 55 gigabytes of which only 30 gigabytes are used it reduces it in size and i had to deselect the data contained on the data partition so at least all the files contained are deselected so that it can shrink the partition in this case here we see a brief video by Acronis itself that explains this uh, the procedure use it's a straightforward cloning using uh, Acronis True Image 2016 here we go how to clone your disk with Acronis True Image 2016 the clone disk tool allows you to make an exact copy of your hard drive and send it to another hard disk you can clone the disk when running Acronis True Image 2016 in Windows and when you're using Acronis bootable media in our example We'll look at how to clone a disk with a Cronus bootable CD. If you haven't created bootable media yet, please follow the instructions in this knowledge base article. Important considerations. 1. If you clone a hard disk with a Windows operating system, the disk will only function on this computer or a PC with an identical chipset and RAID controller. If you want to migrate your system to a different piece of hardware, watch our video how to recover with a Cronus Universal Restore video. 2. On the program screens, damaged partitions are marked with a red circle with a white cross in the upper left corner. Before you begin cloning, you should check the disks for errors and correct them using the appropriate operating system tools. 3. If you clone a disk with Windows to an external USB hard drive, you will not be able to boot from it. Please clone to an internal solid state drive or hard disk drive instead. For best results, install a new target drive where you plan to use it later and the source drive in another location, such as an external USB enclosure. This is especially important for laptops. Go through the following steps to clone your disk. To start the operation from bootable media, arrange the boot order in BIOS to make your rescue media device the first boot device. Boot the computer from Acronis bootable media. Click Acronis True Image 2016. Click Clone Disk on the Tools and Utilities tab of the home screen. Select Clone Mode. The automatic mode is recommended and is the simplest method. You will only have to take a few simple actions to transfer all the data to a newer disk, which will be bootable if the original disk was. Select the Source Disk and click Next. Select the Destination Disk and click Next to continue and confirm the deletion of all partitions on the destination hard drive. If the target disk is not partitioned, the program will automatically recognize it as the destination and bypass this step. Click Proceed to start disk cloning. Acronis True Image 2016 will start cloning the old disk to the new disk, indicating the progress in a new window. You can stop this procedure by clicking Cancel. If you cancel, you will need to repartition and format the new disk or repeat the cloning process. You can opt to restart or shut down the computer when the operation is complete. If you clone a hard disk with an operating system, please shut down your PC, detach the old disk and insert a new one. 
Please do not boot your system with two identical disks. One of your systems will become unbootable. After the cloning operation is complete, you will see the results message. Thank you for watching. To see more, last but not least, the operating system used is, well, in this case, it's Windows 10, and the hardware, the laptop of it, which it runs, is a Compaq 6710B. The cloning process using a Chromis True Image 2017 going from uh, 500 gigabyte Samsung 850 Evo to the 240 gigabyte Kingston UV 500 took roughly 20 minutes. That's the end of the recording.